second one the symmetrical angle control the symmetrical angle control allows one quadrant operation here we considered a single phase forced commutator full converter having the switches which is nothing but gtos s1 s2 s3 and s4 and we know that the positive half cycle s1 s2 will work and in negative half cycle s3 s4 will work and we need to turn on s1 s2 combination in the positive half cycle at pi by 2 minus beta by 2 turn off at pi by 2 plus beta by 2 the s3 s4 at 3 pi by 2 minus beta by 2 to 3 pi by 2 plus beta by 2 in simple terms we can say that s1 and s2 is going to conduct from pi minus beta by 2 to pi plus beta by 2 and s3 s4 is going to conduct from 3 pi minus beta by 2 to 3 pi plus beta by 2. Here the beta is the conduction angle. The gate signals are generated by comparing half sine wave with a DC of VC. This is the period the signal is generated and this signal belongs to positive half cycle that is S1 and S2 and this signal belongs to negative half cycle that is S3 and S4 and this again S1 and S2. This cycle is going to repeat again and again. So uh, we have a beta pi by 2 minus beta by 2 pi by 2 plus beta by 2. So total is a beta. Here also this is a beta. So this is the output of the wave. We draw that output of the wave belongs to S1, S2, S3, S4 and again here it starts and repeats for S1 and S2. The current will be available when the output voltage is available or current is going to conduct in this area. This is the current when S1, S2 is in operation and this is the current when S3, S4 in operation and then repeats. This is I S1. Input current. Load current is available and it is constant. This is load current. This is pi minus beta by 2. This is pi plus beta by 2. And this is Ia negative Ia. Now, if you observe these two waveforms, this is the input to voltage waveform and this is the input current waveform. Both are starting at the point of 0. So both are in phase. The displacement factor is unity. Therefore, the power factor is improved. Average output voltage V0 is given by 2 by 2 pi integral pi minus beta by 2 to pi plus beta by 2 Vm sine omega t d omega t. Then when you solve this, you are going to get average output voltage V0 equals to 2 Vm by pi sine beta by 2. This is the average output voltage and this value will be max when beta equals to pi. This will be max that is V0 max equals to 2 Vm by pi. Now Vrms is given by 2 by 2 pi integral pi minus beta by 2 pi plus beta by 2 Vm square sin square omega t d omega t under the square root v rms if you calculate this you are going to get vm by 2, 2 of 1 by pi of beta plus sine beta whole to the power of 1 by 2 this is our v rms now you can calculate the power factor by using the formula is 1 by is which equals to 2 root 2 by pi sine beta by 2 square root of pi by beta 